Human trafficking is one of the top three most lucrative international crimes, along with drugs and weapons trafficking. The Vienna Office of Drugs and Crime reports the figure at roughly 32 billion in profits. Bulgaria is among the countries with the most trafficking victims in Europe. Its key geographical location turns it into a bridge between the East and the West, but also into a hub for human trafficking activity. It serves both as a source country and as a transshipment point. In every bit of it and all around us, people are being treated as property and they are being treated without a glimpse of respect for the humanity. The poor living standard of many Bulgarians significantly contributes to a high number of human trafficking victims from my country. Many of them left their home with the hope for a better life. The ones that survived are afraid to talk and help the police to catch the criminals. There is a big potential and need for an improved prevention of human trafficking by raising the attention of the society to that problem. We need to think of an innovative approach in raising general awareness of the problem and using technology to do that is an important step in successfully tackling human trafficking. Working with the international team of experts, I have established a campaign that addresses the reprehensible criminal scorch with three key pillars, investigation, education and intervention. Under the slogan, preempt to prevent, that stresses the need of taking actions before the presence of an imminent threat. Everything leads to Bulgaria, to Europe. Countries from Russia, Ukraine, Moldova, Belarus, Turkey, through Bulgaria. On 17th of October, with leading Bulgarian politicians, diplomats and jurists present, and with viewers across the world watching on a live feed, I hosted a high-level discussion on human trafficking in honour of European Anti-Trafficking Day. In addition to bringing to life the very notion of preempt to prevent, this event also served as the launch of a US-based non-profit, Sonda Global, of which I now serve both as director and ambassador. I am extremely proud to say that the event marked a wide popularity by being selected as an important discussion that marked the European Anti-Trafficking Day by gathering representatives from the Bulgarian National Commission for Combating Trafficking in Human Beings, Supreme Court judges, Migration Directorate representatives, specialized prosecution dealing with human trafficking cases and leading Bulgarian NGOs. The free-to-watch event was available to everyone via YouTube streaming. We also used an online platform to encourage as many people as possible to send their questions and receive answers in real time. In order to reach the younger public, we need to implement new methods for sending this information to them in the right way. If my project, Beauty with a Purpose, was selected to win the funds, they will be used for the launch of a mobile application that will raise awareness of the problem by making people more knowledgeable and able to act in case of a possible threat. Two talented friends of mine have created conceptual artworks to express their concern of the traffic problem and raise general awareness. Furthermore, I intend to use the visibility afforded me as Miss World Bulgaria to draw as much attention to this matter as possible. In other words, I wish to transfer the attention that is paid to my beauty towards eradicating this hideous crime. Change is in our hands, preempt to prevent. Thank you.